Hey and welcome to my first podcast highlight video. Basically every week I'm going to take a highlight from the podcast and upload it on this channel. If you want to see the full podcast, it's linked in the description. It should be on YouTube straight away, but it might take a while for it to get to iTunes. So after this, go check that out down below. Today's episode, I was interviewing Andrew James and this segment is us talking about how we're going about building our tutorial channels and have some tips and it's a bit of a discussion. So as this is my first podcast ever, I am a bit of a terrible host and uh, I do say um a lot, uh, especially because it was being recorded late because of the times I did. It's really important to have that, that hook that you're talking about and the whole idea of converting people from from a tutorial into to, to just be a long time subscribers for the other kind of content is the question everybody has and everybody strive towards. It's giving it's keeping me up at night, honestly, right now. Because let's be honest, I don't want to have to make tutorials for the rest of my life. I like doing tutorials, but it's not my passion. It's not what I want to do for the rest of my life. So the question that I'm I'm trying to answer for myself is as I get closer to that 100k milestone what do I want to make in the future and how can I make sure that I can make new content that I actually enjoy creating while maintaining the audience I already have so the whole whole idea is just how can I expand but maintain what I have and that's just a question that I don't really fully have an answer to yet you know I believe you are doing quite a good job of that at the moment because um I, th I think I'm good to edit this bit. To be You're fine, man. Edit, 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 edit. I mean, I, most I, I, edit podcasts all the way through. So I've suddenly just become like extremely tired. So yeah, edit, edit the podcast, please. <laughs> I will do. Make um, me sound posh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I think I really like the word you just used there. The idea of converting people. And the way that I base my channel around the person, because I feel like I can be more open on here. I actually probably wouldn't say this directly on my channel because. I don't know, it just would feel weird, but like on, some, on your podcast, my whole game plan for this whole tutorial thing was completely based on Peter McKinnon. He's kind of got the dream setup going for him, you know? Because he got big so fast, he got big off of tutorials, but now people, because he's just such a likable, charismatic dude, people just like his videos for the videos themselves. They like, they like, they like their vlogs. Uh, so that's kind of like the whole strategy I'm basing my channel around right now is the idea of I'm gonna build an audience build a solid fan base off of tutorials and then I'm hoping that I can be an interesting enough person and make interesting enough vlogs that even my subscribers who are there for the tutorials will be interested in them I know I said this earlier in the podcast but it's mm -hmm. sort of the highlight bit I that you're really killing it with okay, the tutorials. You, well, thank you, man. I appreciate it. <laughs> like, um, the, re the reason I'm saying this is because um, in the tutorials, you also, something which I la fail to do because um, I'm just, I need to get a lot better in front. I don't know how I've been a YouTuber for five years and I'm still sort of awkward in front of a camera and have to do a load of jump cuts. <laughs> you're not awkward in your videos, man. You're not awkward. No, don't sweat it, man. That's because I have Premiere Pro. Ah, <laughs> oh, there you go. There's the key, man. <laughs> anyway, um, your personality—you like—you do a very good job of like showing your personality in your tutorial videos, uh, even when there's no, it's not a vlog or anything. Right. You um, that's something that I think probably resonates with with a lot of people and like gets people to subscribe as well as mm -hmm. the um cinematics and stuff that you. Sorry, I just knocked the mic. The cinematics and stuff. Uh, we were talking about earlier. And, yeah. Um, well, I mean, if you don't mind, uh, I think what you're you're talking about is something like once again, it's it's a conscious decision that I make on my channel. Honestly, like, I think this is actually somewhere we can take this this podcast. Um, the things I do on my channel are definitely an exaggeration of my personality. Once again, I would never say that on my channel because it kind of ruins yeah. the magic a little bit. In real life, people tell me all the time, they're like, man, you're so much more energetic in those videos. You have so much energy, so you're a lot more just, your eyes are so much bigger, your face is so much happier. And it's true. You know, like Logan Paul, and I think people, even Peter McKinnon, I doubt, I bet Peter McKinnon's a super nice guy in real life, and I bet he's very similar to the people in the video, person in the video, yeah. but I wouldn't be surprised if he's at least a little bit calmer. <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> and he's, yeah, I, that's, I think that's the sort of thing with all YouTubers. Um, people mm -hmm. who, like, in front of a camera, it's, it's a lot different to when you're in real life. So yeah. with with me, when I'm in front of a camera, I sound like all formal usually because I don't really know how to... But like when I'm not in front of a camera, 
Um, mm -hmm. th 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 um, I'm, a, I'm a lot more relaxed and everything, and yeah, um, I laugh and joke around and stuff like that. <laughs> yeah. I want this is this is sort of the reason one of my reasons for starting a podcast because spending um, spending very long periods of time talking and like getting used to talking and like recording it for people to see is something that I want to um, I want to do because it will help me uh, it will help me improve anyway I went off on a tangent you're right though the the, the idea people are different in front of the camera. They just are, and for a while there, I used to get pressure from people around me, like, you should just be more yourself in front of the camera, you should be more yourself. And to an extent, you do hear that, and I think it's true, but if you look at any YouTuber, I would guarantee you, 95% of YouTubers are exaggerating their personality, 95% of YouTubers are different from what they seem like in their videos. Even Casey Neistat, he had a video recently that really resonated with me, where he talked about how... Um, what he posts in his videos isn't really his real life. It's it's more yeah. fiction than than nonfiction. It's it, it is a little bit exaggerated. And I don't actually think that's an inherently bad thing. I mean, I do it, so I, I can't think it's a bad thing. I think it's fine as an entertainment form to exaggerate your personality. I don't think there's anything inherently wrong with just being a little bit more exciting in your videos. Yeah. And I think people like Peter McKinnon really take advantage of that and. They make something great. They make something beautiful, and they make something entertaining. At its, at its. Yeah, I at really. The, at the core of what he's doing is entertainment. Yeah, I really doubt that um, Pete McKinnon, uh, <laughs> say like he meets up with one of his friends. He's like, "What? So how are you doing? What's up?" Man? I can't yeah, do, I I can't do, like a, I can't do a Canadian effects. accent. So. Yeah, I can't either. <laughs> but like, I, I can't. I, he makes all those sound effects in his videos. There's no way like every other word's a sound effect in real life. You know what I mean? It's. <laughs> It's just funny. It's I mean, like there, makes all the sound there was there was one day like, I I ran into Jack Septica on the street and he started. Top in the morning, two ladies. My name is Jack Septica. I can't I can't do the Jack Septica thing. The Jack like, Septica. Psh, I'm joking. <laughs> I, I'm joking. I wish I met I met I could meet. Jack uh, I was gonna say I was like, dang, that's pretty dope. <laughs> yeah, but the people are more. But it's so important to do with tutorials. If you're if you're someone out there who's listening to this podcast, and you want to make tutorials to grow an audience, not just for the sake of making tutorials. You want to make a tutorials as a means to an end. For me, that's what tutorials are. They're a means to an end. Yeah. Um, they're not the end itself. And I would definitely strongly urge you to do exactly what Nick said, which is the whole idea of having a hook video and then converting them to your channel. And for me, the way I convert people is hopefully, at least this is my game plan, it doesn't always work, but I convert people through my personality. And one thing that I used to do for a while there, during the very slow stretch of growth of my channel when I was doing vlogs, is I did try to be more myself at the time, and my personality was a lot more, you know, chill, a lot more relaxed, and frankly a little bit less entertaining, because what I was was I was afraid of being cringy. I was afraid of people disliking, I was afraid of people thinking I was too crazy. But honestly, I heard this quote the other day, and it's so true. It, it was, the quote was, it's better to be bad than boring. If you think it's it's so much better to be bad than boring. If you're good, people are gonna talk about you and they'll remember you. If you're bad, people are still gonna talk about you and they'll remember you. If you're just frankly, if you're just straight up boring, people are just gonna forget you. So don't be afraid to be cringy. Don't be afraid to be over the top because lots of times people are gonna like that and then if people don't like that, you're still gonna leave an impression on them. That is... <laughs> Thanks for giving me uh, content. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, I think I'm gonna like write that on my wall or something. That's 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 an incredible quote. Um, yeah, it's it is important. Yeah. Wow. Uh, 